Confusing Cans involves children exploring how the contents of tin cans of identical size and weight affects how they roll. It does not directly link to any topic in the Key Stage 1 or Key Stage 2 curriculum, but is fun activity. Children will be comparing labelled and unlabelled cans to see if they can identify the contents of the unlabelled cans through the test. The main resources that need to be sourced for this activity are pairs of cans, a minimum of three. At least a pair of cans that contain purely solid contents, such as dog or cat food. A pair that contains a mixture of solid contents and liquid, such as baked beans or tinned tomatoes. And a pair that contains purely liquid contents, such as soup, that do not contain any solids. Remove the label off one of each pair of cans and label these cans A, B, C, etc. The only other resources should be readily available in school. Your school may have a ramp kit for teaching forces, or you can create your own using any broad, flat and rigid surface propped up on some books and a range of different resources for measuring distance in standard and non-standard units. Show the children how to release the can from the top of the ramp in a consistent way. To be able to compare how far the cans roll, it's important that we start them at the same place on the ramp each time and keep the ramp at the same angle. If you have a purchased ramp like this, it makes it easier because there's a pin and the children can place the, the can next to the pin each time and then just release it. They can then, then measure that distance and then try another can. Again, putting it next to the pin so it's in exactly the same place on the ramp and simply releasing it. You can see that those two cans have rolled slightly different distances. That's because they've got different contents in them. It's important before you do this with the children that you check that your tins do roll different distances and the ones with the solids in roll further and ones that are purely liquids tend to run less far, but you do need to check that. If you don't have a commercial ramp, you can just use something flat and rigid like a whiteboard propped up on something suitable. This is a little bit more difficult because there's no peg to put the tin against, but we still need to make sure that it's, we try to release each of the cans from the same place. So put it at the top and release. And then we can put the second one in the same place and release. Then show them the resources that they can choose from to measure the distance that the cans roll. Explain to the children that they will need to test all the cans in order to work out which are the matching cans. Once the children have completed the test and have used the evidence to decide what the unlabeled cans contain, ask each group to share their findings and then open the cans that can be eaten by the children or staff to see whether they have correctly identified the contents and don't open the cans that can't be consumed. Mm -hmm.